Yo, 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 guys. What the fuck is going on? My name is... Dumzo Danino. And this is part number five of uh, GTA 3, the definitive edition. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're watching this, guys, and you're all, where the fuck did I get the... Dumzo Danino. In a British accent, I want to give a formal shout out again to Donksta. Um, yeah, it was, it was kind of funny how we how we came across me, guys. Uh, you know, he's a pretty, uh, I would say, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He's very active. That's the word that I'm looking for. He's an active streamer, not like me. I only stream like three times a day, one hour for each stream. And he's pretty active, guys. He streams about um, eight or so, six or six to eight hours. Um, I wouldn't say a day. I, I don't keep up with his track record, but. He has fairly long streams, and it just so happened that yesterday, whenever I was streaming, uh, he was barely getting off, and he was playing GTA 3, and he was looking to somebody for, uh, to raid, and he so happens to come across me because of the boy right here, Hasbula, and he uh, chose me. I remember in yesterday's stream... Hold up, guys. God damn it. Yeah, I remember in yesterday's stream, whenever he had raided me, I'm like, why the fuck did he choose me of all people to raid, right? Um, but yeah, it just so happens he found me by um, just trying to find someone to raid, and he saw the Hasbula thing, and he thought that shit was dope as fuck. Um, yeah, I don't know if I've told anybody. I know I probably said it in previous streams, but the reason I even have this was back at UFC 264. It was Dustin Poirier versus Conor McGregor 3, where he snapped his... Um, his tibia, his leg, and it was over at Vegas, and I made that cardboard card card out. This was July 2021, so this was like right before Hasbulla became a super megastar. By then, he had, he had already came up on my feed twice, um, for for shit that he's done that's gone viral, and I was on him. You know what I mean? Because I knew I knew the way this guy is um gravitating towards people the way that he gravitated towards me i knew that hasbulla was going to be a big thing which is why i made that cutout they didn't let me take it into the arena unfortunately but people were already in the know people if, if people didn't know who he was i know they know now who he is and those who knew at that time they 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 knew that oh shit it's hasbulla whatever and again he's a i wouldn't say he's like a worldwide figure but he's pretty well known i mean if if Donksta was able to recognize Hasbula from just the thumbnails that he was watching then uh i'm sure <laughs> uh, a lot of people know who he is so again shout out to donkson for that raid shout out um to Hasbula for attracting that attention and yeah guys so i went to donkson's stuff and i was just watching it because i was curious and i heard him say my name and i want to give another big shout out to all the uk dudes who have that accent you guys have some of the one of the most sophisticated accents that, that there is, you know what I mean? Which is fucking dope. And the fact that he said my name using his accent, I was like, hey, I'm going to fucking cut this clip out and I'm going to get that audio and I'm going to put that on my on my little sound pa panel. I even added this one, too. But I'm like, that's fucking perfect, dude. Like the fact that I get, he said my name and now I could use that as a fucking as a like a little for my soundboard like a sound effect but yeah guys i don't have too much more i haven't uploaded any of the parts on youtube yet but i will be doing so right after and then i'm gonna start chipping away at at some of the more short edits um but yeah guys uh i don't got much more to say so let's get right into this gta 3 the definitive edition part number five Holy shit, and my parents have the fucking heater going. It's toasty as a motherfucker in here. Um, alrighty. Yeah, the, where we last left off, guys, was that cool little strat that I had for this police guy. Uh, I mean, it worked, so this is dead body still. Oh my god, I got a cop because of that. God damn it. Yeah, so we'll just continue on with the missions. Police! Move it! Um, 
Oh, how the fuck am I gonna do this without Get getting? He's gonna be able to catch on to the door. He did it. Um, yeah, I forgot the name of this guy with the R, but let's continue on with those guys' missions. This is the guy, uh, that, that corrupt cop that's in the bathroom and shit. Oh, and I do also want to apologize in advance if um, you guys hear that I have a little lisp in my, in my, uh, in my speech. It's because I just started the new the next week's or the next bi-weekly Invisalign treatment, so hey, Jay, kind of get it, uh, used to this one. An old army buddy of mine runs a fitness in Rockford. We saw action in Nicaragua back when the country knew what it was doing. Anyway, some cartel scum wrapped him up yesterday. Yeah, guys, no so beer, though. For some of his stock today. Drinking water today. He's going to need backup, and in return, <laughs> I'll give you a knockdown rates on any hardware you buy. I'd go myself, but... The old sciatic is playing up. <laughs> so, uh, good luck. All right. Why the fuck is it raining? Highway, the worldwide web. Yeah, I know all about it. Fuck. Oh, I didn't get the cop. Thank God. This is that one band that has like really shitty steering. I go to a shop and the name's Laszlo. I know Laszlo. I'm a regular But yeah, guys, um, as the title of my video or of this stream indicates, Eagles, or I mean, Chiefs versus Eagles. Who do you guys got? That's the next, uh, well, that's the Super Bowl. Um, I did watch the 49er and the Eagles game, and it was just plain, utter, like, it was just unfortunate, dude. What had happened to the 40? I'm not a 49er, the but I'm a Rams so fan. Men in this you know, let's just get that straight. All right, but I also here, like to conduct non-biased sports takes, which is what I try to do on rear naked takes and shit like that in the MMA channel Great that I have. Ahead, but I thought there'd be more of you. Can't believe those yellow belly bastards left me without proper cover again. Well, three arms are better well, than one. a whole one, ass so tank. Whatever you need. Those Columbians will be here any minute. Um. Okay. Give me the tank. Oh. So what, I, I can't take the fucking tank? I'll just put a, like, some sort of barricade. Oh, fuck, they're here. already here. Um there's dudes already popping out from this side too? Holy shit! There's a bazooka up there! God damn it. This is not good, not good. Yeah, I was gonna get fucked for sure. Um But yeah guys, like I said, it was just unfortunate what happened to the 49ers, dude. Like to not have like any QBs or any help like that, like ah, that that just sucks. Just really sucks. Hey, Jay, over here. An old buddy of mine. I'd have more of a straightforward take or traditional take if um, both teams were completely healthy and um, there's like not really uh, any solid excuses. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a, that's a part of the game, like both teams being healthy, but that's just one of the unfortunate circumstances that people don't want to see. You know what I mean? Like they want to see a fully healthy 49ers versus a fully healthy. Eagles and the Eagles will for the most part their team was healthy and for the 49ers to my knowledge also with the Eagles but to my knowledge um 
I know that Trey Lance was out, obviously, and Jimmy Garoppolo was out, obviously. Um, but Brock Purdy, on the other hand, he was a great replacement for both, and if that guy was healthy, they would get a pretty good one. But he got hurt, and then the Johnson guy got a fucking concussion. Yeah, they they completely trashed that guy, man. Let what pass? Put this right here. Great phone to head, but I thought there'd be more of you. Can't believe those yellow belly bastards left me without proper cover again. Well, three arms are better than one, so grab whatever you need. Those Columbians will be here any minute. Oh, I was about to say, I was like, that guy doesn't have an arm? Um, yeah, there's a fucking bazooka up there. I don't know how to get to that shit, though. Fuck. Well, that sucked. Oh, my God. And they took out the fucking... Fuck this. I'm standing right here. And I'm just gonna start chucking grenades. I don't give a fuck. That'll be a little bit more aggressive. Hot damn, they're here. Damn. Lock and load. You're gonna be sorry. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end up fucking dying again. Get him with that one? No, I didn't. There's one more over here on this side. Maybe if I actually chug grenades in the right spot. Oh, that's Phil, the army guy from Vice City, no? I just realized that. have my arm. If you need any firepower, just drop by and take what you need from the lockers. Leave the cash under the bench. Now get out of here. I'll handle the cops. He disappears, huh? What about the tank? Can I take the tank? Ah, I was gonna go up there and try to get the fucking bazooka and shit, but they're not there. I need somebody to call me. Oh, never mind. There's a letter. And I just couldn't see it because it was over the phone. About. Well, okay. Right now, I live at home, but pretty soon, like, <sighs> next week. So, so, no audio in game. What do you mean there's no in game audio? Say. Yeah, dude, that. Can't hear anything. What are you talking about? Can't hear audio or you in game. What the fuck are you talking about? That shit's on your end, dude. I, my end shows that I'm actually uh fucking stopping my stream for this shit. Let's see. 
Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Wow, you're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? You fucking liar, fool. I can hear my shit perfectly right here. You gotta check your shit, too. So, well, that's not me, that's you. You're tripping. Fucking making me all insecure for no reason. Pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. All delivered over uh, I'm not gonna get that. Delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to you. Yes, I think it is you. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been on the top 100 self-help books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen Dojo, an organic food market. All right, you guys. Hey, but shout out to you, Suwoo so well, thank, thank you for stopping by. If you can hear that. Tell me, Reed, where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, I mean it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really should be put together. <laughs> milk-based as we all know and I am lactose intolerant and pizza as you may know as well is a thing fuck I lost help doing that hey I still love you pa thumbs out to need now I know a really important man in town, a soft touch with, uh, shall we say, exotic tastes and the money to indulge them. He's involved in a legal matter, and the prosecution has some rather embarrassing photos of him at a morgue party or something. The evidence is being driven across town. You are going to have to ram that car and collect each little bit of evidence as it falls out. When you've got it all, leave it hey, in so the how about the Eagles, and torch it. Uh, Saul? I mean, uh, Sue, so pretty well. Oh, wait, your name is on there. <laughs> oh, mind is like a closed fist, and karate means open hand. But it might as well mean open mind. Yeah. Like grab, oh, I need that health. Oh, wait, I already got the health. Really don't enjoy chewing damp hay and it's a good thing that some of these missions before you start they replenish your health because fucking I don't even look twice at my health I kind of just go with the flow can't be soft yeah that's true you guys your guys' win was definitely in your guys' favor though that just fucking sucks what happened to the Niners Ora. And I was not the cause of any of those illegal actions right there. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hello, Reed. I bought your book. It really saved my life. Why, thank you. I want to ask easy, you easy, to easy. Design. Yoga, not yogurt. I just can't give up tea. So, so where are you going to watch the Super Bowl at, then? Oh, I thought that was... Oh, he's just dropping the packages. Fuck! Here we go again, guys. If it stays at two cops, I think I'll be fine. If it creeps into three, then that's where I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm in trouble or tempted by those all you can eat breakfast. Oh, you're gonna go to the Super Bowl? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I start the day with a fruity beverage, some meditation. Shout out to Saul. He's gonna actually gonna go watch the Super Bowl. Hey, it's at Arizona. I mean, I guess it's not that far from California, but it's a, it's a lot of fucking money. This fucking truck's gonna blow up. Yeah, I'm gonna get that that Yakuza one though. <laughs> 
the extremities of the body. You must use the language of the body, not the tongue. No, she didn't. You're fucking lying. Send me a picture. I don't believe you. That's a lot of fucking money, dude. A lot of money. Nosebleeds are fucking like 10k a piece. God damn. The sound effects for whenever you run over people, it's kind of funny. That was like some fucking... There you go. Ah, oh, almost fucking hit him off the bridge or uh, off the ledge right there into the water. Leave the evidence in the car and torch the car? What? I can't be that close off of the shore. Put it right here. The fucking cops can't do shit. Uh, oh, I don't have any more grenades. Fuck, I almost killed myself doing that. Free money. Mo money, mo problems, mo bitches. Um, yeah, I'm gonna continue to do missions for that dude that's in the uh, in the bathroom taking his shit. Yo, so, so how are you doing on this uh, nice Sunday? Despite the fact that um, your team won. Congratulations again. Let's go live to his office. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Better replenish my health. Hey, you done taking a shit? We gotta shut him up permanently. He goes fishing out of his boat near the lighthouse on Portland Rock most nights. Steal a police boat. Make sure his backstabbing plans are sunk. I want him sleeping with the fishes, not eating them. Well, what if he doesn't like fish? How is he gonna eat them? <clears throat> Alright, I got full health. I mean, I got some for him. Well, you know, I think they were speaking English before we were. Uh, the people over here were speaking Shoshone and Cherokee. Man, Cherokee. Where am I going? Me. Oh, oh wait, now I'm going back. I thought uh, the next island was already open. Man, that's a boring game, man. Yeah. I'll tell you what soccer is. Soccer's for little girls, man. Football, now that's an American sport. It, it teaches you good, wholesome American values, man, like like stealing other people's land by force and, and wearing tight pants while you do it. And I... Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Being a man, Lazlo. Something you wouldn't know anything about. All right, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Is that the fucking tire? <clears throat> I want that semi right there. Too, if your empire had fallen apart over the last hundred years. And speaking of commerce, it's time for some commerce here. Let's yeah. go to commercials. We'll be back. No, 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 no. Calm your fucking tits. All right, I'm out. Fuck, I almost failed that. It could have been, could have ended really bad.
Dude, I always get really nervous jumping on these fucking boats because Claude's dumbass can't swim. How do I get to Lighthouse? Oh, it's on the other side. Uh, I would be quicker to drive around. Yep. Is that how he's getting his fish? That's pretty cool. Oh shit. He might be dropping fucking grenades though. What the fuck is this guy doing? Sniper rifle, so I'm good. Ah, oh, you bitch. There we go. All he had to do was just stand still. Fuck. And now I'm on the complete other side of the fucking. Map, so Ooh. I bet you would have ran all the way out here and he would have got this fucking Hummer. No, I am not doing that. You are fucking tripping. Nope. I am not doing that. Odin, see what's plaguing Liberty City? Oh, caller, you're on the air. Wow, I got through. But, uh, Lazlo, I think your last few callers are a. Um. Fuck, part. Anything but the stuff. Bro, there you go. Like, a dollar twenty-five, please. So I get out my truck and the guy behind me is like, oh, come on, lady, you don't have $2. And I said, as a matter of fact, I don't. I spent my last $2 last night buying gas at these ridiculous gas prices. And besides, who are you anyway? Fuck. Dude. Come on, you can't keep doing that shit. Well, you'll get no argument from me. I mean, I get everything. Jumping in front of my vehicle and shit. Liberty City calling into this show. I mean, People think that I have no feelings whatsoever. Exactly. Another <laughs> perfect example. The other day, I'm over at the hospital to have lunch with my girlfriend, Cherie, and this maniac comes right up on my bumper, flashing his lights, and I'm like, hey, guy, the light is red. You can't just come up behind me and me flashing his lights. Then he gets over this megaphone and says to the woman in the steel by Boston monstrosity, please move to the side. Can you believe it? I mean, who has a megaphone rigged in their car? People are so obnoxious these days. And rude. I mean, I tell my nanny. Alright, next mission. Blaster Blaster. You useless bastard! You totally messed up! My ass is on the line, and you can't even kill a goddamn fly! I, I did! I kill that witness, oh. and he ain't dead! But today he's gonna make a federal deposition! He's being moved any second now, from the Carson General Hospital up in Rockford. If he squeals, I squeal! Pick up a load of manure. Whatever. This is Hayden. <laughs> I'm gonna go on vacation. 
Where'd my vehicle go? Alrighty. If more people would join the military, this would be a better country. These kids don't respect veterans. The fuck? Dude, that said my mother's my sister. How the fuck does that even happen? What the fuck is all that about? Look at that shit! That's fucking terrible! Just a fucking mummy cast! Poor guy. Oh, he didn't die! You, he actually lived, what the fuck? What am I gonna cast? All right, let's go over to the D mission. Tell us their name. My name is Real Honey. Holy shit. That guy was fucking stiff as hell. Why are you calling in today? Because I need some advice. And I ain't doing any of that shrink shit. What's that? If you swear again, we're going to have to cut you off. This is a family show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm Oh, no, I don't care about all this stupid shit. It's my mom. She don't think I'm a real man. Can you imagine that? I mean, I do a man's job and all, but... No, I don't want to do this. Freaking nuts. Well, Tony... Tony, how'd you know my name was Tony? You're tracing this call? Don't want to do this. You're going to get real intimately. Damn taxi. Man, stand up for yourself. Don't take no shit. But all I do is to be a good son. And I want her to show that she cares for me. Show that she loves me. And you know, I say I was a good kid, but it seems like nothing's ever good enough for her. You know what I mean? What do I do? Well, so, I mean, sir, you know, in life we have a lot of obligations. You just kind of have to face up to them. And right now, I'm here we go. I thought I was going to run all of them over. I was about uh, to get mentally to prepare for all the cops that I was going to Oh, great. I am here, bitches. Liberator. Is that Donald Love? First of all, let me thank you for dealing with that personal matter. People will read something into anything these days. Experience has taught me that a man like you can be very loyal for the right price, but groups of men get greedy. Yeah, who's the voice actor for this? This motherfucker's voice sounds like I know crazy. Who looks like some Giga Chad? Giga Chad, you. Yeah. They're trying to extort additional funds from me, but I don't believe in renegotiation. A deal is a deal, so they'll not see a penny from me. This dude just grow like friend, fucking five inches. Whatever it takes. Hmm. Go Jack Colombian game card. You can infiltrate the hideout, today. head north. Go, go. Colombian game card, huh? So those guys are posted by the paint spray. And for kids, a life oh, we'll, we'll head over there. It's a woo sa woo. What's up, my boy? All right, Glad to see you back. This is your talk radio show, Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Hey, you ever had possum? Did he? No. I really can't say I had it. Hey, you on track sometimes. I tell you, man, it's good to eat possum, raccoon, eat super meat. Hey, su woo sa woo, how do I... How do I join the worm community? I want to join the worm community. Dude, what the fuck's wrong with people, man? I have a copy of it. Alright, 
right, here we go. Let's go. She's on fire. Unlike those other exercise machines that require you to be awake, the Dormatron actually exercises you overnight. Let's learn a little bit more about it. <laughs> Dude, these guys know it's me before, uh, or with or without the fucking vehicle, man. She was too big for me. Then I'll sleep with anything. Do it. The thigh size and Tommy Stapley. I've had my mouth sewn up, my hands chopped off. You name it, I've tried it. Yeah, except for exercising and eating right, Porky. That's right, honey. Then I found the Dormatron using a new technology called the Fuck. Alright, well, I'm dead. Dude, what the fuck am I. What did I get into? Yeah, I'm dead. I am dead. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll send you the court fa. Yeah, send that shit to me. Positioning statements. This is the one and only. Are you ready to party? These boys certainly are. And I hear the lead singers out of therapy and ready to date your sister. Ooh, bitch. Fuck, I can't even be listening to that kind of music. What's my real name? Are you Hungarian? Damn, YouTube's gonna copy right now. I'm from upstate. Are you sure that's not a fake radio name like Andy and Bobo? I thought all those radio people had fake names. You have a question or you just want to sit here and talk all day about my name? No, that's it. I'm so mad, though. Or Mark, or John, or Beverly, whatever you name. All right, next caller, you're on Chatterbox. What is on your mind? Vertebrae, fruit, vegetables, albino carrots as they're known back home. Okay, here's the deal. This isn't gardening with Maurice. That's on later. No. God. <laughs> I know he did. I've been trying to make a hybrid of a peak. It's my car, idiot. Sir, do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. You get to play it nice. I see, I see the old oriental gentleman. Alright, so apparently I'm not supposed to go in there and act like I'm one of them. I have to go in there and start fucking to our employees off. and the quality of our shoes. Eris running shoes. Right, fuck this. Can I shoot through this? Oh, I can. There's one more. <clears throat> well, those are the only ones that I could see. Comment on this show, especially if you're in our key demographic. Scared me. Well, yes, I know that, dude, but fuck. There he is. Let's go. This is evil. Tetris, the devil. Russian heat again. Uh, I suppose you're one of those people that says that diet soda makes you go crazy later in life. I called you before, man. Don't mock me. My taxes pay your salary, you pansy. Sir, uh, this is a commercial radio station owned by Love Media. Advertising revenue pays my salary. And on that note, it's been two full minutes since a commercial. But I'd like to say, if anyone else is stressed, might I recommend Equinox from Zybatsu Pharmaceuticals? Uh. We'll be back after these important messages. Hello! I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or a family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. 
that's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything at all. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox is new from Zyvatsu Pharmaceutical. Ask your doctor about Equinox today. Easy peasy, guys. Easy fucking peasy. Equinox, softening life's harsh reaction. Tonight, Stay the fuck the away from the Colombian, you idiot. Liberty City I'm gonna do that shit again. Alright. Waka. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that. Fuck that. Nothing drives down real estate prices like a good old fashioned gang war. <laughs> apart from an outbreak of plague, but that might be going too far in this case. I've noticed the Yakuza and the Colombians are far from friends. Let's capitalize on this business opportunity. I want you to kill the Yakuza Wakagashira, Kenji Kassen. What? Kenji is attending a meeting at the top of the multi-story car park in Newport. Get a cartel gang car and eliminate him. Oh my god. The Yakuza must blame the cartel for this declaration of war. Bro, Kenji's the dude that I've been working for. Are you fucking serious? You're gonna make me do that? That's crazy. You were talking about short guys and attitudes. That is crazy. You're really gonna make me kill Kenji? That is. That's what I'm talking about. You. You got your own show. How about let other people talk for a change? Completely. I mean, I wasn't super in tune with the story of this uh, GTA 3, but fuck. Now that I'm older and actually pay attention, I'm quite baffled that they make me do that. Yeah, I love people. But I, I need to go through the pain spray though. Most of all, guns. It's all fucked up. I had a big whine about guns kill people. Guns don't kill people. Death kills people. Ask a doctor. It's a medical fact. You can't die from bullets. You can die from cardiac arrest or organ failure or major hemorrhage. A small piece of metal ain't the problem. Besides, I only use my machine gun in the safety of my own home and car. I ain't hurt nobody. And countries that don't have guns ain't American. You know, that's a really good point. The countries that don't have guns aren't American. You know, if more people had guns, we'd have less shootings in this country. All right, we're going over here to line two. Hello, caller. You are on Chatterbox. Out of my way. I'd like to say something about taxes. You mean the Lone Star State? Oh, taxes. Oh, taxes. Taxes really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. Now the state wants to pay taxes on the money he wins from that stuff? Buy your own lottery ticket. Oh, hey. Good point. I think that's a lesson to us all. All right. Hello, you are on Chatterbox. Hello, lads. I'm a first-time caller. I recently moved to the city from Hampshire. That's about to be oh, real really? fucked How up. do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, lads. No. Yes, yes, I, I do like it here. There's one thing, though, that, that's very different and rather worrying. When I was How am I supposed England, to kill him? I had a nanny. She was very good. Yeah, well, I, I, I mean... I doubt I can get out the car and do it, right? Yeah, I had a fucking... <sighs> it's okay. You know, I just wanted to make sure. I wanted to get that out of the possibilities. That was my car, you fucking idiot. Oh my god, the GTA 3 cops have hit a new low. You get cops for getting into your own fucking car. That is redonkulous. Alright, there's a strong possibility that I might die as soon as I pass this mission. Like to bring to the party. Hello, you are on Chatterbox. I was listening to that caller about taxes. So my idea is I'm gonna go in there, just drive like a fucking lunatic, run them over, and then as I say, mission pass, and then my car's gonna blow up, and then I'm gonna die. I mean, 
I'm not ashamed to say it. Okay, thanks for calling. Now that we've lost 98% of our audience, let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. When we come back, we'll have a special studio guest. Special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams. Hey, I just want Alrighty. to peace prize. And not. Here we go. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological. You didn't even fucking. No. Fuck, that's it. Mission failed. Almost had his bitch ass too. I hope this isn't one of those missions that I'm gonna constantly have to do over and over and over because I just suck at this game. Of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of Tomorrow. Remember, only technology makes life worth living. House of Tomorrow will upgrade your system, then you can upgrade your life. And now it is my great pleasure to welcome Fernando Martinez. And somebody's getting wamped on over there. Of Fernando's new beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, Laszlo. It is an honor to be here. I feel it. Uh, thanks. So tell me about Fernando's new beginnings. Truly, Laszlo, it is a miracle. A blessing. It is a revolution <laughs> in marriage life. For my people, marriage is, how you say, sacred. The bond between the father and the mother, it is made in heaven. And in the bedroom, if you know what I mean. Uh, I think so. For my people, it is the holiest, most sacred. So Laszlo's a fucking virgin. Like a church. Yet, for it to be a happy marriage, it must also be like a brothel. The woman, she must be many, many arts. Be skilled in making house, cooking, changing the diapers on the babies, and she must also <sighs> What's be an whore. easy entrance point? In the bedroom. Probably gonna be this side, huh? Constantly. It is impossible. You change diapers and then you are a French man? Fernando says not. <laughs> what I fucking tell you? <laughs> well, at least that's easy though. You come around, you hit them, and you dip. But all those fucking dudes shooting at you is. Oh man, this is gonna this is gonna be one of those missions. I mean, it's just good that the paint spray is right there because if this car's damaged, I could just go to the paint spray, spray, uh, spray my car, 100% health on the car now, and I continue from there. And even after I kill him, you say you not want to kiss me. I was talking how to say hypothetically to make me all personal. It's a bit different. If I say, imagine if your wife was hurting. But I'd assume that even after I kill him. Even after I kill him, I'm still, uh, I still have to stay in the car until I get to see Maybe impossible, but a man is born a man. And a man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical. A dream and sway. So he starts flirting with the secretary, takes her out for a drink. One thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wanderer, a dreamer, a man who has needs, but an idiot. And I can save you. And I can save your marriage. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. <laughs> hey, you are the one mentioning the pretty assistant and the office furniture and the Aikarama, my friend. Listen, Laszlo, and listen very closely. Your marriage is a gift. It's a present for me both. But you are a man. I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. For when the man, he sees wife all fat, all early, with the dirty diapers and the dirty panties and the scrubby brush, and who knows what else. He's not thinking of marriage bad. He's thinking about, well, you <clears> thinking <throat> about your pretty assistant. All right, there you go, guys. See? Uh, go on. But last look. Dude, that's fucking impossible if they're gonna have their fucking dudes just... 
There has to be an easy way, but <laughs> I don't think that there is. Unless I reverse, but and a thousand men like you. For me, once it was so. But then one day, I've been driving my car. And I realized, Fernando, you are blessed. You are a miracle. A thousand miracles rolled into one. You saved the marriage. Ah. Dude, that guy, see, see what I mean? They keep fucking jumping in front of my car. So, how does this work? It is a miracle. Right on the hood. <sighs> on my fault. I love my husband. I have a dash cam too, bitch, so I can prove that in court. On the spare half day, I say it's like now by giving him what he needs. Low environment. I give him passion. <laughs> what with you? That kind of sounds like a limited mark. That's what you are very prejudiced. I don't like that. But no, not with me. Passion for life. Passion for love. Passion for women. Which he can take home to his wife. What? So you act like a pimp? Not a pimp, little man. A savior. In a control environment, I reintroduce the man to a pleasure he has lost, to the miracles of the world. And truly, the results are remarkable. With my unique counseling, I Here we go, guys. marriages have been saved, and a million more could be saved every day. <laughs> and, and do the wives know about this? In their hearts, Laszlo, they know they have been saved. Uh, okay. We're gonna open it up to the phones if you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy. Ring us now. Hey, oh, cool, we have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing. He's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bus of a woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I I'm trying to think Jerry of so how I'm going to do this. In, I really need to... Like okay, so there's man, one dude right like there. A man. A man, Two, three, he has four, no anymore. Five. And his marriage, it is killing him. Where is the passion? Jesus so God. it would be Replaced easy to hit that guy that's man. running around, see, come in, hit, hit, hit Jerry, Kenji, pull out. A pretty, she's more like an offensive lion or a tight end. You know what? Big and hairy. But first of all, she gives Jerry five kids. But All right, fuck it. I'm a, I have, a, I have an idea. Like See if it works. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady. Save my marriage. I love my wife. Even though she is a fat worker. I'm out of here. Jerry, you are fuck alive. yeah. He's okay, now I have to lose the cop. His wife, even if he is like a farmer. And now, Jerry is sleeping with other women. What are the pain spray? Ah. A beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. That, that's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Come on, come on, come on. Don't blow up. Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. Bro, oh, come on. Just fucking stay the fuck away from me, man. And you, Janice. Why are you so ugly? Your husband, he don't make you happy? That's it. No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy. And you Fuck sound yeah. very pretty. Angry and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty. Right now what? This is the thing, last one. The women they think in new beginnings is only for men. But no, it is for huh? women too. Uh, shout out to... She thinks Senor Wonderful. Celia. Thank you for the follow. Now dump the car. Alright. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, buddy. I say I give the passion back. And you better wash yourself. Good spot to blow up a car, huh? Or not. That's fucking crazy, dude. Again, this fool just killed Ke uh, killed Kenji like if uh, he never worked for him at all. Lot is heartless. He is heartless as fuck. So he works for uh, he works for that Salvatore Leone guy. Kills his ass because I mean, well, that was justified because they tried to kill him. But he kills him, and then he has a pretty good business relationship with 
Kenji and he kills his ass. Where were you called from? Fuck, man, this guy does not give a shit. Yeah, hey, let's go back to Donald Love and see what's up. I work the miracles every day. Listen, wives, children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he not happy, send him to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give oh you the work. God, man. Get off, get lost. You're just a cheap pimp from upstate. Get out of my studio. I save your daddy. I save your husband. It is a miracle. Get out of here. It's a miracle. Would you like a kid? Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a cute... Oh, why the fuck does this fuck to be all the way on the other side of the fucking map? Little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And, and why does... Why do all these drivers never turn on a fucking turn signal to switch lanes? My name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. Alright, here we go. Another fucking mission. In these days of moral hypocrisy, certain valuable commodities can be hard to import. On its approach to the airport tonight, a light aircraft will pass over the bay. It will drop several packages into the water. Make sure you pick them up before anyone else does. Alright. Get to the boat and follow the plane. Oh fuck, I'm timed on this. Thank you. Yeah, that was your fault too. Holy shit. The drinking water. Listen, if there's any sane person left in Liberty City that can hear my voice. Yeah, sometimes I really hate all the time missions in this game because they don't they don't ever give you enough time to do what you gotta do. Same color. I couldn't see, bitch. Fucking hoods up in the air. I wonder why more people aren't talking about this. Killer bees swarming it sounds pretty serious. Ah, but the killer bees are nothing compared to animals. You can't kill them. Fuck, looks like I can't jump like I did on the other uh, right, thanks, the other caller. People. Ants, killer bees, fat people, what's plaguing you? Call now. Chatterbox, hello, you're on the air. Uh, yes. I'd like to say something about these damn people on trains and buses. Somebody yammer on and on into their cell phones. I'm really glad we get to hear about what you're having for dinner. What we can do is hurt them up, put them on an island. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against the Phone. Crap? Exactly. Your organization's called crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You are <laughs> around people up for using a phone, but you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. I mean, how many people are there in this crap? Dude, couldn't have the, the, the eh, couldn't have the developers made another dock that I could have gone to on the other island instead of coming all the fuck way to this one? Just saying. All right, where am I, where am I going? I got the fucking thing. Where do I go? Oh. We dropped the first one, I'm assuming. Plane is now in range. This should be easy. The hardest part is when I have to get off of the boat fucking get rid of all the cops and try to survive that yep it's a three star this is not gonna be any uh not gonna be any fun but i mean if i pass the mission as soon as i get all six then i'll just oh my god dude. Yeah, you see what you see what i mean And I have to, and I'm pretty sure I have to get on land too. Yup. Oh, you fucking bitch, man. Mm. Leave it up to GTA 3 to make all these fucking missions that are damn near impossible. Figure it out though. But four fucking stars, man. With the fast ass helicopter on my on top of me. 
Yeah, this is not going to go good. See, the only idea that I have is pulling up right here. Yeah, that's not going to work. Where's the closest? Oh, there's a dock right on the other side. What the fuck happened over there? Uh, the fuck is that? Gas line or some shit? Oh my god, it doesn't let me go on the other side of it. That's a fucking barricade. Yeah, that's fucking stupid. Okay, so now I have to go on this side, go on a dock that's on this side, and then use Claude's fat ass to run into the fucking city, steal the car, and then dip. Yeah, this isn't uh, gonna um, go good at all. But again, we'll figure it out. I can already hear the, ho the helicopter on my head. <sighs> can I just fucking blow this guy up? Do I have anything? I don't. Dude, these cops don't give a fuck. They're just killing people and shit just to get to me. Come on, bitch. Holy shit, man. Well, ain't that a fucking warm welcoming? Uh. It doesn't say I need to lose the cop, so I, I'm assuming I could just... I'm assuming I could just go to Donald Love and, uh... Radio show, we don't have viewers, we have listeners. Uh, okay. Dude. Well, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry cut was next month at the fairgrounds, bro. These guys don't know what they're doing. Yeah, good luck fucking catching me now, bitch. I got a fucking Yakuza. Guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppet to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together. It's rad. But anyway, dude, at the International Puppetry Festival, we'll be having workshops on finger puppets, too. I love Petunia the Pinky. Me, Barry the Thumb. Thank God. Ugh. <sighs> Offshore delivery. Complete a drop in the ocean. Yeah, that's not... It wasn't as hard as I thought, but fuck, that shit was not easy either. <laughs> Grand Theft Thank Arrow. you for retrieving those packages, but they were only a decoy. Sorry about that, but that's sometimes the way in business. My real objective was hidden on the plane all along. Unfortunately, wow. the Port Authority seized the plane and were stripping it down until I intervened at great personal expense. Cross the bridge to Shoreside Vale and go to Francis International Airport. I've paid off the officials. My property will be waiting for you at the customs hangar in the aircraft fuselage. Alrighty, Donald. Whatever the fuck you say, buddy. They don't speak Chinese. Good news. Good news for commuters from Shoreside. Engineers have finally managed to repair the damaged mechanism on the Staunton Lift Bridge, and it is now open to traffic flow both to and from Shoreside Vale. By genuine reproduction medieval artifacts, including maces, double-handed battle swords, and one-size-fits-all chainmail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or swimming um. pool. Well, guys, now the other fucking bridge is open, so should be pretty close to beating this game. Uh, I was anticipating to beat it this weekend, but, I mean, obviously I did it, so for sure next weekend I will. Uh, although next weekend is going to be a little busy. I'll, I'll figure it out, and I'll find a day. 
talking about them. Clothes. What are you talking about? Raspberry clothes. Clothes, Raspberry. I hate them. I just hate them. Hell yeah. Opinions on Chatterbox, which is that Liberty State Beer. New Island, bitches. Why don't you like clothes? I just hate them. I don't get restricted. I mean, there's a line where clothes, and the line is the king of the jungle. So why can't I, a humble citizen, go naked? Well, I mean, I guess the line has two distinct advantages <laughs> over you. One, I mean, it says you say a king, and therefore it can exercise its royal prerogative to not wear clothes. And two, it's a cat, and therefore it doesn't have to. And three, I mean... Let me guess, I have to drive the fucking dodo. Holy can, shit, what happened here? I guess, I guess what we're learning is that life Holy can be a fuck. little unfair at times. I'm naked, Laszlo. I'm naked. I, you know, I really didn't need to know. Well, thank God I have a sniper. Fuck, you got me. The package should be on the plane. Oh, fuck. Look at all that dynamite that's behind it, though. Damn, they blew that guy up. I'm gonna try and exercise as you want to sleep. Just strap... Oh my god, are you fucking serious? I have to drive all the way back? KJ rhythm section with us. Nudity is back. A lot of people are into nudity and really understand the spiritual side. What? Of hanging out with loads of naked chicks? I mean, I see the fun in it, but I just think clothes. And I think the, the dodo was like, made so you could fly over there, but. Yourself, or, or when you're working on a building. Yeah, or good luck dry, or flying that piece of shit. Exactly. I'm not gonna even it's try. I'd rather drive. Alright, dude. dude. Yeah, in in Vice City, the uh, plane flying system was it was decent. It wasn't too bad. San Andreas was a lot better. They perfected that, and I actually really enjoyed flying the plane because I knew how. Now in this game, on the other hand, the fucking flying system is complete dog shit, and it broke. I'll keep this fucking down. Why we're the fastest growing cable <laughs> supplier and health insurance provider in the Northeast. And why our new satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Here at Love Media, we are proud of what we have done to help America and to help hard-working Americans relax. For investment opportunities or information about our new interactive television service, please go to www.lovemedia.tv. Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to line eight. Hello, caller. What's your name? Bob. Bob. Hey, uh, what's up, Bob from Pine Creek? Well, I've been listening to your show. There's always people going on about problems in school. Gum, people showing disrespect to teachers, hey. drugs. Schools are breeding grounds for crime, ain't they? Well, I guess it seems that way. Well, I got a real simple solution. Shut them down. Shut down the schools and shut down the problems. No more dead teachers, no more angry students. Well, then you don't think... No, I don't. Never. <laughs> now listen to me. I'm actually listening to this guy's fucking radio. Well, not my No, sir. Uh-uh. I'm learning him the value of good hard work. Learning him good. At three, we taught him how to clean the bathroom. He left so much as one hair on the stove. It was off the bed with no dinner. You know what? He went to bed hungry only 20, maybe 30 times. He learned. I'm trying to get some ground right here. There go. I have two bullets left. I gotta make them. One. Dude running that way. Looks like that's the only two guys that I saw, and then that dude that ran that way, he's probably trying to run over here. Yeah, I saw movement right There's here. No 
Ah, oh, there's a dude right there too. Fuck. All right. What if I could? I got him. You fucking bitch. Oh no, there's still, still a few dudes in there. I hear them. You are no good. Make kids work. That book stuff all fuck. And, and doctors and politicians, lawyers. Oh, there's right there. His daddy's an idiot. Let's take a quick break. Phil and I just. Oh, there's a dude right there. I have any grenades lined up. Alright, I'm I'm glad that the what is this the M the M16 it acts like a sniper just without the scope This one I can hit him with the AK You got You want the chainsaw gringo There's no problem to kill you Why the fuck wasn't I shooting him? It's weird. Yet another fucking glitch. Get him? Yeah, I got him. I think that's it. Take the lift up to the tower. Fuck, this better be the fucking, like a checkpoint, because I do not want to do all that shit over again. Hey, let's get this out of here. God knows what it is, but he seems to want it back yeah. enough, so it must be Catalina, you bitch! Yo. Hey, take it easy, amigo. No es nada, no es nada. I left you pouring your heart out into that gutter! Hey, don't shoot, amigo. No, no, no problem. We all friends. Here, don't be such take a this. pussy! Hey, we got no choice, baby. You always got a choice, you dumb bastard. Catalina, you crazy. I'm sorry about the crazy bitch, man. They, they all the same, please. Por favor. So... The whore got away. But you've done me a favor. You're not the only one that has a score to settle with the cartel. This worm killed my brother. I never killed no Yakuza. Liar! We all saw the cartel assassin. I'm the one We're that did it, bitch. Hunt down and kill all you Colombian dogs. I'll be operating on our friend here to extract information uh, and uh. a little pleasure. You, drop by later. I'm sure I'll require your services. Damn. Please, amigo. It's probably the most intense oh, part of the her. fucking she's, she's game that there is. Please, amigo. Hey, hey, amigo. Amigo. Ah. That sucks. Take the package back to Donald Love. This feels like two years Crap. Yeah, Claude's definitely playing with fire on this one. He's working for Donald, and Donald's the one that made him kill Kenji, and that Yakuza chick or whatever thinks that it was um, the Colombian dude. So, it, does that mean that Caesar, you know, the lowrider gangster guy that was fucking CJ's uh, sister, is that guy Colombian then? I thought he was Mexican. Because he said 
that Catalina is his cousin. Okay? So, if they're blood related, and if Catalina's doing work for the Colombians, hence she should be Colombian, does that mean that Caesar's Colombian? Question mark? How about it, or how uh, good of a take is that? Um, God damn, I got a lot of missions to do. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there, guys. It is getting a little late, and I do have work tomorrow in the morning. Um, Shout out to Suwu Sawu. Shout out to Selya. Appreciate all the follows to both of you, or to Selya, but I appreciate all the comments from uh, Suwu Sawu. That's my boy. Um, Yeah, guys. I don't know when the next time is I am going to stream. I'm probably going to think it's going to end up being on Thursday because on Friday I kind of have um, plans in the evening. So I might try to squeeze it in on Thursday. Um, yeah, I'll figure it out. But for sure, though, next week, this this game's going to get done. And then we're going to go on to the next one. Now, the next game I haven't gotten to yet, I will start brainstorming throughout this week and try to think what I want to play. But uh, other than that, guys, if you're watching this on Twitch, head over to YouTube. If you're on YouTube, head over to Twitch. You know the fucking dealio. This is... Thumbs out to Nino. And I'll catch you guys in the next part. Peace and chicken grease. Good night, Saul. Love you, buddy. <laughs> Stream gets me through life. Love you, bud.